how to set up a custom conversion event in your Facebook ad account. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Hi, my name's Alana from teachtraffic.com and I'm going to walk you through step by step how to set up a custom conversion event. So let's go through to a live Facebook ad account. I'm going to walk you through and show you just how easy it is. So here we are in a live Facebook ad account. And as mentioned, I'm going to walk you through the steps to create a custom conversion event. The reason you want to set up conversion tracking is so that you can measure success. All right. And obviously in a post iOS 14 world, there's a little bit of a gray area now due to the blocking of the tracking, but still, it is still worth setting up custom conversion events. So hopefully you've logged into your ads manager account. I'm going to click on these three lines here and this brings up all the tools and I'm going to go to events manager. This is going to bring up the section that talks about my pixel. I'm just going to minimize this. And as you can see, hopefully you have installed your pixel on your website. If not, there won't have any activity of your pixel. All right. And we're going to go here to custom conversions. And this is where we're going to define what is a conversion event for us so that Facebook can hopefully optimize for that if we choose a conversion objective campaign. Okay, so we're just gonna click create custom conversion. We're gonna give our conversion a name. So let's just call it uh, test conversion. Obviously you would give it a name that's applicable uh, for whatever is the conversion event that you're testing. The data source will be hopefully the pixel that um, you have installed. Okay, conversion event URL traffic, that's fine. And here we need to uh, define the rules by which the custom conversion event is going to be assigned. Okay, so it's by uh, the destination URL that somebody lands on. So if I go to my website, disregard that this image isn't loading. This is just a really old website I'm using as an example. And I'm going to copy whatever is after the .com. Okay. You don't need to put in the whole URL, just whatever you have after the .com is fine. Okay. We go back to events manager and we put in what is, um, what the URL contains. You have the option of doesn't contain or equals. My personal preference is to have contains because often sometimes what happens is, um, there's a slash that's added on the end or not added. So if you choose equals, and it doesn't match it exactly, it's not going to record the custom conversion event. All right. So by choosing contains and by leaving off that slash at the end, I'm allowing situations for where it is there and where it is not there. Okay. I also have the option of adding a conversion value if I want to assign a certain, you know, monetary value to it for me. And, um, I can do that if I want, but I'm going to choose not to in this particular case, but you need to decide if you want to do that for you. Okay. And then you click create. Then it's going to have created, as you can see, test conversion is, um, is created and it says inactive to test. If you've defined it correctly, what I like to do is I like to just refresh this. Cool. And I go back here and I refresh this and this should turn into active. And as you can see here, that is active. So there you have it. That's how you install a custom conversion event in your Facebook ad account. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.